The EV3 Brick has a black and white LCD screen with a resolution of 178 by 128 pixels. The top left pixel has coordinates 00, 0 and the bottom right pixel has coordinates 177, 127. EV3 Basic has 13 commands for using the LCD, of which a selection are discussed in this video. For further details, see ev3basic.com. The simplest way to display text on the LCD screen is to use the command lcd.write, as above, but this restricts you to using the medium font. lcd.text allows you to also specify the color, 0 for white and 1 for black, and the size, 0 for small, 1 for medium, and 2 for large as in the program above. This program demonstrates these EV3 basic functions. LCD.circle draws a circle in the given color. LCD.fillRect draws a filled rectangle with a given color. LCD.line sets a straight line of pixels to a given color. This video has demonstrated 8 of the 13 LCD commands available in EV3 Basic. For more information, please visit ev3basic.com. The EV3 brick has an LED light underneath the buttons. EV3 Basic has only one command for working with the LED. EV3 dot set LED color, which sets the color of the brick LED light and the effect to use for it. Color can be off, green, red or orange, and effect can be normal, flash or pulse. The EV3 brick has six buttons, five of which can be referred to in EV3 Basic programs. EV3 Basic refers to these buttons as U for up, D for down, L for left, R for right, and E for enter. EV3 Basic doesn't use the remaining button, the back button, except to terminate the program. There are only four EV3 Basic properties and functions for buttons. Buttons.current returns the buttons that are pressed at the exact moment that the property is called. For example, it might return the string LU. Buttons.wait waits until at least one button is clicked. Buttons.getClicks checks which buttons were clicked since the last call to getClicks and returns a text containing their letters. Buttons.flush removes any clicked state of all buttons. Subsequent calls to get clicks will only deliver the buttons that were clicked after the flush. Here are some commands that you can use with the EV3 speaker. Speaker.tone plays a simple tone of defined frequency. Volume can be 0 to 100. The frequency in Hertz can be 250 to 10,000. The duration is in milliseconds. Speaker.note is the same as speaker.tone, except that tone is replaced by note. The note can be C4 to B7, or a half tone, like C sharp 5. Speaker.stop stops any currently playing sound or tone. Speaker.wait wait waits until the current sound has finished playing. By default, program execution will not be paused while the sound is playing. Therefore, if you want the program to pause, you will need to use speaker.wait command. There is also a function speaker.play, which plays a sound file stored on the brick. Sound files must be in the special RSF format. The file name to be used with the function is the name of the sound file, but without the RSF extension. Before you can use this command, you must copy RSF sound files into the brick using the companion program EV3 Explorer. Therefore, the speaker.play function is demonstrated in the EV3 Explorer video. 
For more details, please visit ev3basic.com. Here's a program that uses the bricks, buttons, LED and speaker.